So, could tigers survive and live in Africa? Let's find out. So, Africa is the most diverse continent in the world, home to over 1 million animal species with seven different biomes, including the desert, rainforest, grassland, and Sahara, just to name like the four big ones. The animals vary from top apex predators like lions and hyenas to several prey, prey items like gazelle and zebra to the heaviest and tallest land animals in the world, the elephant and the giraffe, to a wide variety of snakes and small mammals, to primates like gorillas. No other place in the world has this is this diverse. Um, and I'm going to be focusing on the Bengal tiger just because they seem to be the best fit to live there. Uh, the Siberian tiger is too warm for them, and it, other tigers are just smaller than them. So I think they're just the best fit. And let's talk about the Bengal tiger. Well, the average size of a male Bengal tiger uh, can get up to 570 pounds, and they can be 9 to 10 feet long. As for females, they can get up to 350 pounds and are about 8 to 9 feet long. So they're a little bigger on average than the African lions. <clears throat> they're very powerful, capable of killing big animals like the water buffalo, the Indian gore, sloth bears, and even crocodiles. They have a bite force of 1,050 PSI and are perfect ambush hunters. They can run up to 40 miles per hour and are expert swimmers. Uh, but when determining an animal's chances of survival in a foreign place determines more on just on their physical power and, and their physical size. You also have to take into account climate, food, and competition. There has to be enough food to go around, climate. They have to be able to be comfortable in, you know, with the climate. Uh, and if there's too much competition, they're not going to survive. So anyways, let's talk about climate first. In terms of climate, uh, the Bengal tigers could survive and thrive in the grasslands, the Sahara, or the rainforest, probably. Uh, these biomes have the best suited temperatures that they're used to. Uh, in terms of food in those three biomes, almost any and everything are on the menu, right? Uh, but they would probably focus on animals such as gazelles, zebras, wildebeest, boars, uh, chimpanzees, and maybe a Cape Buffalo, if they can, if they're lucky. They can kill buffaloes in Asia, you know. So, they could probably take down a Cape Buffalo. Um, they also wouldn't pass on an oblivious cheetah, or leopard, lion cub, a lone hyena, uh, wild dogs, and stuff like that. They wouldn't pass on that anyways. So, there's plenty of food for them to thrive there. But... Uh, so, there's suitable environments and more than enough prey items to choose from. But by far their biggest problem in trying to live there is the competition. In Asia, they only have to really compete with leopards, uh, bears, and crocodiles. But in Africa, they would have to compete with leopards, cheetahs, crocodiles, the African wild dogs, and the two big apex predators, the hyena and the lion. Granted, they would only really have to worry about the wild dogs, hyenas, and lions. But there's two differences between the, these three animals and the three that they have to deal with in Asia. Firstly, they're all pack hunters, meaning the tiger will always be outnumbered. A tiger could evenly take on one fully grown lion, two, maybe three hyenas, and then several wild dogs. But not a coordinated attack from a big group of any of these especially the lions and the hyenas. Wild dogs are different because they're so much smaller, but I'm sure an entire pack of them could press a fully grown Bengal tiger. And secondly, the competition in Asia wouldn't dare try to steal a tiger's kill, unless it was just another tiger, uh, as they are the apex predators. Uh, that's not the case in Africa. If they don't get it in a safe place to eat, they will lose their meal to a pride of lions or clan or of hyenas. This happens all the time in Africa. Whether it's lions, hyenas, or wild dogs, they would have to learn to avoid lions and hyenas, much like cheetahs and leopards have. 
And the last big problem for them is just the other new animals that they don't know about, that they don't have to deal with in Asia. Like, tigers are great swimmers, right? What happens if they go for a dip in the water and then come head-to-head -head with a three-ton bipolar tank known as a hippo? It will bite its head off and it'll be over. <laughs> what about a group of highly aggressive chimpanzees? Or an animal that can break its jaw with one punch, like the gorilla. Or an animal that can send several quills up into its mouth and face, making it impossible to eat, like the porcupine. There's just so many animals that the tiger would have to adapt to. So, do I think the Bengal tigers could live in Africa? Well, theoretically, yes. There's suitable climates and several prey items for them to hunt. They're also powerful animals and masterful hunters. Uh, but there's so much they would have to adapt to, like not being at the top of the food chain, avoiding lions and hyenas like cheetahs and leopards do, uh, not swimming in the Nile River, etc. It is possible that they could adapt or evolve to all these changes and be just fine and be able to thrive there, as Tigers, leopards, and lions all did descend from the same ancestor. Um, but living uh, things don't have the innate ability to just evolve or to adapt just because they're in a new environment with new problems. If that was the case, the entire cheetah population wouldn't be completely inbred. The Asiatic lions wouldn't be on the brink of extinction. Actually, no animal would ever go extinct if that was the case. But with that being said, though, I'm not sure if they could, if they could survive or not. A part of me says no, because what they're used to in Asia. But the other part of me thinks yes, they could. And smaller predators like the cheetah and leopard would have an even harder time as they would be knocked down even further down the food chain. I don't know. What do y'all think? Let me know down in the comments below. And I had a lot of fun doing this video. And I have other video ideas similar to this. So if y'all want to see more, please like and subscribe. If you did enjoy, leave a comment of what you think. And hit the notification bell to be notified of all my future videos and all the great stuff. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.